All right, next up, I got to install my second PT100 power track charge controller. These are 100 amp charge controllers. So I'll have 12 panels on one and 12 panels on the other one. So I want to get that mounted in place and then wire my charge controllers out to the uh, combiner boxes. I won't do this the panel side yet, but we'll get this side done. Get it all wired into the breakers and get it all set. So let's get started. So this is 36 inches. I'm going to mount this thing since I could have three of them up here eventually, but we're going to do two for now. Just level it up to the other one. Centered on that and then leveled right there. I was right in the center. Mark. Here it is, number two. Let's take this cover off. Yeah, see, no big deal. All right, PT100 number two going in place. Look at that, hang right on there, no problem. Here's the second one, at least it's mounted in place. Now we're gonna wire both of them to the combiner box and to the relays. Forgot, I gotta take these knockouts out and I got to punch two holes through my cable tray. So I got to take this off and I got to clean up. Boom. See that? Woohoo! Nice. There we go. Indicating the positive. Those are my two positive outputs on the 100 amp breakers from the charge controller to the DC bus, which is basically putting on the battery through these bad boys right here. This is from the charge controller to the battery breaker. Yeah, notice I got the stacking Cat5 in here. All right, this is the battery negative out of the charger, 30 inch pounds for this one. So now I got some of these interior wires in, so I'm going to work on the wires that run to the outside, which would be the PV negatives will run out through here to the boxes, and the PV positives run out through here to the boxes. Four more wires to put in. Before we put the wires in, we got to put these... Uh, I got three of the 15 amp breakers and three of the 20s for no apparent reason. So here's the box, and here's the breakers. And we'll start by just putting the breakers in. So first you wanna pull these guys out. Like that. And just drop them on here on the rail. All right, and then push the little yellow tabs in. I'll keep them all on there good so they won't come off. And this guy goes right in here, like that. So this thing can still move a little bit. So I'll get it. I'm going to put the cover on and make sure I got it in the right spot. Let's do that next. Well, that has to go down. All right, so that's in there. So that racks them down, that racks them up. Okay, up, down. Start with the positive PV wires here. I'm gonna start just by going out with it. Positive. I'll put a red tape here. All right, let's go on the inside. Make a little jog over here and then up. Marking this with red tape. It's the positive combined output. All right. 
over here. Okay, so I've got all the wiring done on this side from the PT100 charge controllers over to the two combiner boxes. The plus and minus of the combined PV come in through here. The plus runs up to these 50 amp 150 volt breakers and then they go up into the two charge controllers. Here's the plus PV and then the negative PV just runs straight up into here from the combiner box. On the output side, we have the plus and the minus. The plus runs out, comes down to the 50 or to the 100 amp breaker over here. 150 volts, 100 amp breaker. And it comes down into here into the positive bus bar. And on the other side, it just the negative goes straight to the negative bus bar for the battery. All right, so that's for the inside. Oh, and then also we have the uh, common which runs from both the charge controllers out to the two combiner boxes. So let's go look outside. So out here so far I've just got the uh, positive and negative combined PV and the ground hooked up for each combiner box. And we don't have the others, we don't have the panel wires hooked up because we don't have any panels up there yet. Okay, so, so I found I made a mistake on the way I wired these. I brought my positive PV, combined PV in, and I put it right on here. And then I went to the other side of the breaker and ran from here to the charge controller. Well, this is a 300 volt DC breaker. The way they get that is they jump two 150 breakers together in series with this jumper. So you come in with your uh, combined PV from the combiner box on the positive at the top of your breaker and then go to the negative it jumps to the positive and then back up to the negative side and then you run this to your charge controller and that gives you the 300 volt DC breaker let's just take a look at this so of course we're gonna have continuity here we got nothing here nothing here nothing here right all right so we throw this up now we got continuity down nothing so one other little note the you always put the um, side with the greatest potential which is in this case you're coming from your combiner box on the plus side and the charge controllers on the negative side on this this is the output of the charge controllers you want your batteries on the plus side you can see that and your charge controller on the negative side. I've been working side. on this solar power project for about eight weeks now, seems like. And you notice we haven't seen any actual solar yet. So that's what we're going to start working on next. We've got to change gears, got a whole new project, got to get up on the roof, find the rafters, mark it all out, get our mountings up there, the rails, and get the panels mounted. So let's get started on that next. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.